Welcome to your tapping on money mindset. This is really about expanding your capacity to hold money, expanding your field to allow yourself to bring in greater levels of wealth. Now, this level of wealth can be money related, and it can also be related to wealth of vitality, wealth of love, wealth of your connections and relationships and intimacy. Okay. So this does not have to necessarily relate to money, although I am going into this with that intention. Okay. When we talk about wealth and we talk about money, they're two very separate things. Money is an energy. Wealth is a consciousness and an identity to embody. And so it's very important that we see the difference between the two. And a lot of times people end up looking for so much from money, but they're not giving back, right? They're not engaging in a relationship with money. And that's really necessary. You need to engage in a relationship with money and you need to be able to fully embody and identify with the vibration that exists when you occupy wealth consciousness. It is a level of up level in your intuitive expansion, in your journey, okay? So today we're going to be tapping on expanding our fields to allow more money to come in, to allow ourselves to um, open our field to receiving more, to loving ourselves more, to standing more in our authority, to standing boldly and confidently, to knowing who we are, to being very true to and confident about what we offer to the world. Okay. So for those of you who are not familiar with tapping and EFT, you can head over to the link that is listed in the description of this video. That takes you over to the resources page on my website which will give you a tutorial on tapping. There's also an image there to show you the different EFT tapping points. And then you can just pause this video and come back to finish this one after you've gotten introduced to tapping. For those of you who are not familiar with me, my name is Laura Mazada and I'm an Akashic healer and Reiki master. I'm also a former therapist of 20 years. And it's really my passion to assist people with healing at the deepest level of their being in the most enduring way possible. I know it's possible. I want to assist you with taking your power back so that you can heal yourself and that you can really feel into that and step forward into whatever it is you desire in your life, whether it is creating your own business, I can guide you in that. Whether it is being closer to your family and getting a greater level of intimacy with yourself, with your body, whatever is coming forward. And I'm also a very strong advocate for mental health and chronic physical illness. So feel free to reach out and let me know if any of those areas are something where you're struggling and you could use some guidance. Without further ado, let's jump into our tapping. So put your feet on the floor. Straighten your spine by tucking your tailbone, tucking your chin. Take a nice deep breath in. Close your eyes. Allow a nice slow exhale. Another deep breath in and pausing at the top. Breathe in a little bit more. And a nice slow out breath. And just connect to your physical body here, connect to your emotional body. Just allow yourself to identify where you're Feeling confident in the area of money mindset, wealth consciousness on a scale of one to 10, 10 being I feel like a rock star and one being I could really use some work on this. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Just repeat after me. Even though I'm feeling kind of unsteady in my wealth consciousness, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I worry about and doubt that money is coming in consistently. I know that the universe always provides. Even though I hesitate in trusting myself and trusting the universe. I know that it's magic is always working in the background of my life. Keep tapping, take a deep breath here. And we're gonna move on to the points. I just don't have enough. 
How do I know this money is going to keep coming to me? When am I going to finally feel safe and secure with what I have? I get so frustrated and I feel like a victim. A victim to the circumstances that have led me to receiving less than I desire. I work my ass off and I just don't feel like I'm seeing the abundance around it. I'm certainly not receiving what I desire in human form. And I get frustrated and impatient. And I place blame on myself, on my job, on other people. And I feel like I'm gonna be stuck in this space. I don't know how to get out. And I can't seem to find the answer. Sometimes I feel like I'm drowning. And sometimes I feel expansive and excited and it's still not coming in. So what am I doing wrong? Where am I going wrong? How can I shift into allowing more? I just don't see how that's the right thing to do. I don't feel safe without going, going, going to achieve what I desire. Keep tapping here and take a deep breath in. I choose to send myself love in this moment. I choose to hold my inner child who's rolling around and feeling unsafe in there. My inner child needs stability and security. And I choose to tap into where I feel this in my physical body right now in this moment. And I send all of my worries and my fears into that space. Take a deep breath here. Allowing my breath to clear anything stagnant or anything that no longer serves me. Knowing that I am opening up space for more and more to arrive. My desires were placed on my heart for a reason. There's a reason I desire this amount of money. And I may not know that reason yet, and I may never know that reason in this lifetime, and that's okay. I don't have to judge or doubt myself for the desires that naturally come onto my heart. I actually get to celebrate and honor them. And as I do, my field opens. A 
as I allow these desires to take my imagination and run to wherever they desire. I am opening space for possibility. I'm choosing to do this, even though I may not fully believe in it. I am choosing to trust that all of the money that I've ever desired is actually on its way to me now. It exists within my field. And I know that it exists because it's been created by other people on this planet. And if it's a possibility at all, it's a possibility for everyone. So where am I missing the mark? It's not that I'm missing anything, it's that I need to sink more deeply into, into faith. So I choose to take my practice of faith and trust. and sink deeply into it at every cell of my being. Take a deep breath here. Releasing any codes, cords, and conditioning from my ancestors and past lives. Acknowledging and remembering that I have my own path to create. That blazing this path allows me to stand in my own authority for my ancestral line. that I get to forward this energy for my sake, for theirs, and for the collective. And that as I forward this desire and bring it up with gusto, the universe will hear me. I will feel bold, confident, and proud. And I will stand confidently in knowing that I forged a path for change. Taking one for the team and saying, I'll go first instead of waiting for someone else. I choose to take that responsibility and ownership now. I choose to know myself and the power I embody. I choose to call it into my field each and every morning before I put my feet on the floor. That I am not making or creating money or abundance. I am simply a channel for it and all I need to do is invite it in and allow it to flow through me. Take a deep breath here.
I choose to feel into what it's like to be my million dollar self. Down to the last detail and the day-to-day -day tasks and experiences. And I start to take steps to integrate and bring that person forward now. Knowing that as I start to walk in these shoes, I will fully embody this consciousness at my own pace, in my own time. Put your hands down, take a deep breath in. Tuning into your field again, your body, your emotions. Identifying where you're feeling on that scale of one to 10. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. This is a tapping that you may need to do again to adjust where you are on that scale. You may also find that some of the statements that came forward didn't resonate with you or they triggered something within you, some resistance or an area that you wanna explore more deeply in your journal. You can do that and then you, come back to, you can come back to tapping or you can jump over to my website to grab the tapping starter kit as well so that you can learn how to create your own script and you can learn how to relax into creating this for yourself no matter what situation that you're in. So thank you so much for joining me here today. Thank you for your patience as my daughter was screaming in the background. And I love you and I can't wait to see you on the next video. Definitely make sure to like and subscribe below so that you get more tapping videos as they're uploaded in addition to downloads from the Akashic Records. Thank you for being here and I'll see you soon.